What is up guys? We are here today at Downtown Disney and today is actually the second day that any normal person is going to be able to get what's new here, the Magic Band Plus. So we're going to kind of see what they have in Downtown Disney and kind of what's different versus what the hotels offer, if there's any different bands available. Um, but we're going to show you guys all the ones that are here at the main World of Disney store. At the World of Disney, they have a whole selection. We also looked online for them as well. So I'm seeing literally everything we saw online here in this store as well. Uh, it does look like they have two limited uh, edition um, release watches, which is the Coco watch and the Black Panther watch as well. I think I'm going to go with the all Mickey one. I wanted just that one's a, actually cool. It is. I wanted a pretty plain one, but I, I honestly like him. It's a lot of black and white with just a little bit of color on this How guy. much is that one? I think that one's, what, 40 I don't know. It's either $34.99. <laughs> I think it's 34 or 40 I, Is it? We'll Maybe see. 45 I don't <laughs> We'll know. let you know. I'm going to go with Darth Vader. I wanted this one. Uh, I kind of wish they had a Mandalorian one, but they don't. So. I know. I really, I, don't know. I would really love a Rex one. If people that are well, creating these. Well, they do have these. a Toy Story one. I yeah. Just, I gotta look for it. So. Me too. So now we're actually gonna go through the pairing process for this Magic Band. Uh, I think I already said it, but I had to go with the Vader one. Uh, this one was. It, Angela didn't know the price, but it was 44 for this. So for mine and hers, it was like a hundred bucks. Um, and then we'll be telling you if we think it's worth it or not. But to pair these guys, I'll kind of show you on the phone. Pull up your Disney app, and then you're going to go to Magic Band Plus. Uh, add Magic Band, and make sure your tickets are linked. Uh, let's see here. How does it work? Open the scanner to link. Yeah, so you put, you hit link, and then apparently put your Magic Band close to link your account. And then you hold it, and it actually just vibrated and went green. So let's see what it's doing. There it goes. So you actually have to like touch your phone with this. Bluetooth enabled. All right, so now we're gonna pair it. Three seconds, it says. All right, so it vibrated again. Now it turned blue. Bluetooth pairing in process. Successfully linked. Uh, looks like it needs to be updated. So, Angela actually, and that's all it's doing now is updating. Angela and my mom got one, and it seems like out the box you have to update every single one. It doesn't take long, but keep your Magic Band close to your phone because if you put it far away, then it kind of says it's going to take longer and all of that good jazz. But right now it's kind of just lighting up while it's doing the update. So. I think, what did George say? Maybe like five minutes? Maybe five minutes at the max. Yeah, so we'll see what it's going to do here. And then we should be good after the update it linked. And then we'll t try the magic trick of seeing if our ticket's going to actually scan. <laughs> but if, like on my phone, for or my phone, for example, I had all three of our tickets linked. And I had to make sure that each individual with the magic band got their ticket on their phone because the watch goes to a ticket where I showed you guys and make sure you assign the right one because if you assign a different ticket to a different band that's the one you have to use but you can switch it from what I hear so you won't be married to that. So the update just finished. It took actually about like two minutes um, and then it says lift your arm and draw in a circle to celebrate but it's not really like... <laughs> it's not doing it. It says, it says draw in a circle and lift your arm, but it's not going. Yeah! Oh, <laughs> uh, whatever. Uh, find Magic Band Plus Experience. And then it actually tells you everything, like you can use your key. I've actually heard that it tells you when characters are around too. Uh, but let's go see if it works. Is it gonna work? Is it not? Let's see. Thank you. Yeah! It actually works for me. We're waiting on my mom. Um, but yeah, I, I was honestly scared. I didn't want to be that guy holding up the line. But it worked for all of us. And I actually got another paper ticket and they're not going to be doing these, so that was kind of cool. So we stopped here at the Plaza Inn. Um, we basically landed off the plane and we were starving. So the first thing we're doing, well, we got our Magic Band set up. And then we didn't feel like park food, so if you don't want park food, come to the Plaza Inn. I got the pot roast. It's a pot roast, mashed potatoes, biscuit, and green beans. And it was a real good. Angela and my mom got the marinara and the Alfredo. Penne pasta. 
Angela didn't really like it, but I thought it was I thought it was good. It was better than Olive Garden's pasta, so <laughs> I give it a real good. But now we're feeling stuffed. I think next we'll probably head to Galaxy Edge to kind of see how the Batu experience is gonna go with um, the Batu Bounty Hunters. All right, guys, we finally made it to Galaxy Edge where we're gonna try the famous Bounty Hunter game. Batu Bounty Hunters is actually what it's called. And there's actually no line, and it's the second day that it's open to everyone, not just Magic Key Holders, so. Tap your band to tap Bounty, so let's tap this. All right, how to track target. It's actually going green right now. It's vibrating too. All right, and then red's the wrong way, so it's basically like a hot and cold type of game. And then now it just turned purple, so when the, the band actually turns purple, that means it's where your target is. So then you'll pull out the My Play app, scan the door, and then you go from there. It's vibrating right now. Oh, we just went red, see? Oh, not right Maybe this way? Alright guys, so we just located uh, my 8th bounty, um, and my band is purple. And the sun's starting to go down now, so you can kind of see it a little bit better. Uh, but the, it's so cool. I, I'm lucky enough that Boba Fett's actually walking around and like playing the game too. So it makes it that much fun of an experience. And I honestly didn't think I was going to like this that much, because... I was saying it was like, oh, it's cool for the kids and things like that, but it's actually super fun. If you love Galaxy's Edge, you're definitely going to want to spend time playing this game because you get to explore it, and it just gives you a whole different experience being here. So we're now here at Haunted Mansion. We were able to get a lightning lane for this, and I think, what time is it? 10, 12. Uh, and I think I booked this thing at like 2 o'clock. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, the biggest thing, we want to make sure that our magic band works on lightning lane, and then we also want to see if it makes that special sound that everyone's been talking about. Oh, it did make a sound. Oh, I'm so excited. Sick. Secretly, I think I would really would have loved it to be like. Na, 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 na. The next party, you want to keep. It actually and it's like a, heartbeat, it's a heartbeat, right? yeah. The, I guess, original Haunted Mansion, whenever you're leaving, I think it's Leota. Um, apparently, it's something with like her heartbeat. Um, so, I don't know if it meshes well with Sally, but I thought that was pretty cool to at least have like a feature in a, in a ride with these. Oh, it didn't. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. And actually, oh, yours lit up. Yeah. Kind of confusing. Mine didn't light up. Not at all. But it scanned. It does scan. I feel like the light up features though are like, they come and they go. It's not super consistent from what I've seen. Like whenever I was eating, Carson said that mine lit up. I didn't feel any like vibrations. I didn't see it go off, but I don't, I don't know. It seems a little off sometimes. The magic bands, when you scan them, some of them make a cool noise, some of them don't, some of them light up. It's kind of hit and miss on what's going on, so I don't know. This one didn't do anything. All right, guys, so we are wrapping up the night. Uh, our first day using the magic band. What do you think? I mean, it was easy. It helped us save some battery life on our phone, which is always a plus. It lasted pretty long, too, so I don't know if I've said this. The magic band comes fully charged out of the box. Um, Don't throw so, your charger though. Yeah, keep the charger. It's kind of hidden sneakily away in the back, which I think we kind of showed that. But I definitely, I, I, I like the experience. I mean, together our two bands are around $100, but I totally think it's worth it. And um, I would highly recommend you go in and getting a Magic Band. Uh, it's, it's super fun. A lot of the rides, we kind of try to capture as much as we can, but a lot of the rides, they have like, they light up, they vibrate. The Batu Bounty Hunters is amazing i spent like three hours doing it i'll do a whole video and my experience on it but i absolutely loved it 
I love the Magic Band. I give it a real good. And I guess apparently a lot of the cast members have said that there's going to be more features to come, including um, access to your actual hotel room, hopefully being able to link like your cards so you can pay with it and stuff, uh, and hopefully a whole lot more. So we're excited to see what else they're going to be adding. Yeah, so definitely again, overall, what do you give it? I give it a real good. I give it a real good. Nice. Well, Disneyland, we're calling it a night. Till next time.